Welcome to the Riot Podcast, where I just had a huge stretch. And I feel like in this podcast, we might just sound happier. Oh my gosh, I'm it's so Friday. I'm so ready for the weekend. <laughs> I'm so ready for it. Happier yet hungry all at the same time. Starving, but I'm really <laughs> looking forward to it. Hey, today in the podcast, we talk chicken. We do. We talk about cane. Not Kane's, but yeah. Kane the wrestler. I know, but when you say them back to back, they sound like Like chicken. it's the same. <laughs> I love chicken. It's so good. Oh, back on track. Back on track. Uh, we also talk about the Eiffel Tower and how it's ruined now. Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. South Carolina ruining snow days. Oh, an incident with a gas station hot dog. Oh, OB story time. Yeah, and we also get another look at that Chipotle that is struggling. There's a lot of food stuff in here. I well, told you while we were going through it, I don't think we realized that. But yeah, And the funny thing is, I left some of the food stuff out. <laughs> you don't get all of it. We really did cover a lot of food. Wow. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? Everyone has to eat. That's true. So food it is. And, and hopefully you'll enjoy this podcast. If you get bored over the weekend, you want to find some more Riot stuff, you can always take some time at Radio U Riot on Facebook and then also YouTube. And I will tell you, too, if you follow us, um, especially on Facebook, Perhaps later today, Obi's going to be doing an Obadiah play. Yeah, that's my game plan. Uh, I mean, it's not brand new or anything, but I've been playing Nino Kuni 2, mm-hmm. and I've been thinking that I'd uh, slide in that. and uh, stream some so of that. So if you want to watch and play and join that conversation, mm-hmm. that'll give you a notification. That'll be on Radio U and Radio U Riot on Facebook later today. All right. You guys have a fantastic afternoon. And a day, great weekend. Morning, and bye. The Worst of the Riot box set is now available nowhere because we know you wouldn't want it anyway. It's the Worst of the Riot on Radio U. Yesterday, McDonald's took a huge step forward towards becoming their own country. (laughs) With having their own currency. They issued their own currency. (laughs) They did. Uh, Yesterday was in celebration of the Big Mac's 50th anniversary. Uh Uh-huh. So they, starting at lunch and dinner, gave away, if you got a Big Mac, a Big Mac coin. And there was five to collect. And then what you can do is turn the coin in sometime before the end of the year, and then it gets you a Big Mac. But when you have that coin, you've got more than just a Big Mac. <laughs> you have a, a decade celebration. You know, there's five of them, so it mm-hmm. goes over the history of it, and uh, each coin has a different look on the back. So how many did you get yesterday? Seven coins. Seven coins. That I means... did not. Eric did his his job. I mean, he, no judgment as we start talking about this, but Eric really understood that for some silly reason, I really liked the Big Mac I, coins, and I don't know why. Just certain things. I wanted to ask you because I don't know why. It's one of those things where. Um, you know, Nikki and I make fun of each other a lot, but when we really, really like something, yeah. we kind of back off. Yeah, you're just like, this, we're just let like, me it's, have it. it's fine. I but wanted to get all five coins. I, for no, <laughs> no mirth, no whatever. I really would like to know. Like, I you, don't know. You have legitimately latched on to these coins. I wanted to get all she five of the them. coins. I wanted all of them. And Eric uh, d- helped immensely by eating most of that. <laughs> so I have to say thank you to him uh, for doing that. So, so how many Big Macs did you eat yesterday? Two? I had two, yeah. But I didn't okay. eat the bun, so I don't know if that makes it any better. Well, I, you know. It's... So here are the five. I have all okay, of yeah, them. Okay, yeah, wait. Let me so, reach over here. I want to see. You can see all the five Listen coins. Listen to my wealth. <laughs> and then I just have two duplicates of two of the decades. Okay, so on the back of each one, it says 50. Yeah. And then when you flip them over, like... It's got to look at the decade. So, a, like, you know, you've got... Uh, the 80s one that's mostly 80s, like 78 to 88, it has a, like... Hey, I'm looking at uh, like a, the cover of a 21 Pilots. It's something like with something the album. slashes and the things in the 80s look. 68 to 78, flowers, flowers. like flower child, like 60s, whatever. Mm-hmm. Let's see, 2008 to 2018, it's all emojis mm-hmm. and chat. Yeah, that works. And let's see, what do you got here? It's 88 to 98. It looks like it's a Big Mac on a burrito. It's <laughs> It's more it abstract. It does kind of. It has kind that of. look. You know what's funny is like the the one from the 80s and the 90s, it reminds me of cheap album art. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I could pull albums and show them to you that I think probably They might like have that. taken uh, inspiration and from that. And then 98 to 2008. It's got like a Game Boy, a few other it things on there. It does have a Game Boy. It's got a Game Boy. It's got a, a 
monitor, a, a 3.5 inch floppy disk, that was and the a last, really big cell phone. That was the last one that I needed. And I was so bummed because at dinner, when Eric went back, you know, I we had opened up everything but one last one. And then I opened it and I was. Yes, Wait, I got it. When you it. say open, so did they come in like they a little... They come in wrappers. Yeah, they're like little plastic wrap things, and they have a little card with them. Oh, here it is, Nikki. Uh... So they're going to stay at my desk. So, okay. Again, and I'm not I, turning them in. I want to get back to why you like these so much. I don't know. I, no, I think I got one of the reasons. What is it? You know how when you were little, you loved the little gold doubloon chocolates? <laughs> No, not me. You didn't? Are no, you not sure? Really? I thought you and I had had that talk that you no, liked those. No, but I did Boy, like. I sure did. I liked to print it and I was really remember, rich. And then when I, would I was eat them. the first time I was vegetarian for a while, what yeah, did I go lo- back to? The first thing I had at an airport McDonald's was a Big Mac. Mm-hmm. When I decided I did not want that anymore. So, so <laughs> this is it right here. This is your blood money. I got all five of them. I got more of that than I do Bitcoin. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if these were Bitcoin, you'd be rich. <laughs> I'd be Maybe amazing. not rich, but certainly you'd have some money. So we're glad that's over, but I'm also really glad I got all five of them. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I love it. I, well, I just think it's funny how, again, it wasn't like a, oh, that's nice, whatever. It was like, no, I want them now. Well, and I have to thank Chris and Michael for trading me as well, so that oh. way I can help get all five of the collection. Well, you know what? Congratulations all around. Team effort. Way Team to go, Nikki. Team effort, everybody. Team Radio U. We got we all did five. It. We did it. <laughs> no, I'm not turning him in, though. We're keeping him forever until I forget that I have him. Ever grab milk right out of the fridge to pour in your cereal only to realize that your stupid roommate left an empty carton in the fridge? That emptiness is nothing compared to how you're about to feel. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. You know, there was a point in my life where I had to make a choice. Was I going to be a professional wrestler or would I come in and host the riot? And part of me thinks sometimes that I made the wrong decision. You should have been a wrestler? Yeah, I should have. Um, or at least a ring announcer. And here's just That w- is what you should have been. Or one of the manager like character type people who yeah. every so often gets thrown in the ring, but like you're not your career is not that. I, I think you're right. I think I could have been great at it. And uh, I think this because Glenn Jacobs was just elected to, they say, the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. I didn't know that counties had mayors. I don't know how that works, but I thought cities had mayors, and then... Maybe not. Uh, Maybe it's Knox County City, but they confuse you by putting county well, in there. It is where Knoxville is. Mm-hmm. So he is the mayor of that now, and you're like, Glenn Jacobs, who's that? He's Kane. The one wrestler person? Yep, that's right. He won. So he just barely squeaked by in the primaries. He ran as a Republican. And and then he, he took a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, yeah. know much wrestling stuff. He so. smashed Linda That's Haney it. in a steel cage death, death match. match. <laughs> for the rumble for the vote. Rumble for the... Mayor, the mayoral bumble. seat? Does that work? <laughs> mm, something. Uh, but he was running against uh, Democrat Linda Haney. And he beat her 51,000 to 26,000. That's a rough one, right? Oh, you get beat by a wrestler thing, yeah. No, but like you're a politician and you've worked your whole life and you're like, one day I'm going to be mayor and all this stuff. And you just happen, like your time to run for mayor just happens to be when that guy from the WWE (laughs) is running. In Tennessee, the WWE, to me, like the only thing that would be worse than that is running against a NASCAR driver in Tennessee. That's true. I, I do feel like that's a prime area for that but i don't know like how much does that really help like if he no, it has to help, was he right? vocal about it or oh yeah like people knew he was that person it's like running against schwarzenegger for governor of california it's just like yeah good luck with that even people that hate him are like i liked predator <laughs> but it was close i'll let the kindergarten cop be in charge of me now they're saying the august 2nd win won't be secure or official for a few days because it was so close um but they just need to wrap things up and then that's it wait really like they say it, your article says it's, it was close jacobs who edge uh oh no this is no that's the, that was the uh yes, primary that, that was the he the, won the the uh, the general election on august 2nd I don't know. Like his, he won in the primary, and he only run by twenty one by twenty three votes. Mm, seems like it was very close. Yeah. So yeah, he won Democratic nominee. Uh, I don't know. Like I guess we'll see when that gets finalized or whatever. But the early call for it is that he ended up winning. He is get a load of this. 
He is 320 pounds. He is seven feet Whoa, tall. Whoa, he's so tall. That is a big dude, <laughs> man. That's like you're walking down the street with your friend who's tall, and then all of a sudden there's somebody that's it's six inches taller, taller than that's them. That's impressive. What? The riots. Apparently some of the less athletic types go nuts for this stuff. Radio U. Yesterday afternoon, uh, Nikki and I were here till whenever the heck we're here. We were in meetings. I didn't really have lunch. I had a protein bar after my workout. I was starving. Well, yeah, you worked out at lunch, too, so you were especially hungry. And so I was, you're like, why does this matter? No, listen, it's part of the story. Because normally at like 3.30 in the afternoon, I wouldn't be cruising gas stations for food. That's not normal behavior. But some things had happened, whatever. I had to stop and get gas. And so I need, I was there. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm hungry. It's like, you know, I haven't had a gas station hot dog in a long time. <laughs> and there is a Circle K gas station not far from my house that I can tell you right now. They have excellent hot dogs. Is it like a party pack where you get two for like 50 cents? Nikki, they have multiple. They've got meal deals. <laughs> like if you want, you can do a Polar Pop, a Roller Dog, and some chips for like $3. Well, that's a lunch right there. I mean, that's a, that's a deal. And I believe you can do two roller items, two for $2, something like that. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get me a hot dog. I, I am. I'm going to get one. I like, they do cheddar worst. Ooh. That's a good one, too. Is it? Oh, yeah. That rolls oh, yeah. well. Oh, it does. It does. <laughs> get that. It's got that thick outside, and then you're taking a bite. It, it's got that really Crisp. good. It, it's, oh, and then the cheese, and like, it's so good. It's got the snap to it. Yeah. <laughs> And then I realized, for me, I do consider the gas station hot dog to be literally as low as you can go and still call it food. Like, at that point, you're saying, I don't care about me. I don't care about, you know, my loved ones because I'm willing to poison now, myself with this. Is, I, that, is that an actual, like, because it's a hot dog at the gas station? Or are you just talking, because some gas stations are really playing up the whole, like, this is where you could be going for lunch. Yeah, no, I, I think that. Or do you think all food like similar style food at the gas station is the bottom. I think that my feeling is that when you've gone to the gas station, you have finally just, just it's about purely about convenience. You've bottomed out. You are like just a couple of days away from going to a support group where you start telling them that you knew things were bad when you <laughs> when? were standing there eating the well, hot dog. Did you dog. get a bad hot dog or what happened? So I'm standing there and I realized these thoughts are going through my head like this is an abandonment of all standards. Like you are now saying to the world, I hate myself. I'm eating a gas station hot dog. Why and even go on? you're excited about it. And I was excited about Aww. it. I was like, I can't wait to get that cheddar worst. And then I went over to the hot the roller dogs. rink? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I skated on over. <laughs> and I got my little container, and I'm getting a bun, and I look up, and then I just see all these, wait for it, oh, is it? flies. Oh, the crunchy bits. And I was just like, Ugh. The, fly, them, the flies like, are like landing on the hot dog, mm-hmm. then they're flying up to the little sneeze guard, then they're oh, landing no, on the hot dog. You can't do it. You can't do like, it. You know what? I'm wrong. There is a lower point than just the gas station. Well, you, There's fly <laughs> gas station hot dogs. You can't eat those because those are already being eaten. They're already taken. It was just one of those moments where I had multiple thoughts. I was like, one, don't you guys care about your business? Get over here and clean this up. That was, was thought number one. That was like the one time that I was at a, I'll say at a Starbucks and in the little case where the food was, yeah. was all these flies. And the guy just kind of looked at me like, uh, yeah, we, we can't get them we out. Got fl- Flies. You know how it is. And apparently, so you have them everywhere. It's no big deal. It's fine. I, I just don't look at them. I just knew, like I couldn't. And there was the. I want you to know. Don't think too highly of me. If your opinion, you're like, well, he's got standards. Because for a moment, I was like, that's ah, fine. And then I was like, no, it's not. It's not fine. I had a. There was something in me. I had enough self respect left in that moment. A little bit of me. Proud of you. Five five Stood percent up. proud. <laughs> It was just like, no, this is not okay. There are flies on the gas station hot dogs. We're not eating them, okay? And we're your, not eating them. Your mind and your body finally get in alignment and say, okay, we're not going to. It was like I just shook out of a funk all of a sudden. Like, what am I? Where am I at? What am I doing with my life? Well, I'm that sorry, was, though. You probably really wanted them. Oh, I was building to a cheddar worst. 
I was for sure. In fact, I needed gas, and I was like, I could go to the one place, and I was like, wait, if we go to that Circle K, they got a cheddar worst. But the flies were already there. The flies that had the same thought I did that day, and <laughs> they're creatures too. And you know, again, let's say we're at let's say we're at a barbecue. All right, like in the park, and I'm grilling hot dogs, and a fly lands on a hot dog, and it's like, all right, that's the park. It was a fly that landed like one time. Man, for all I know, those flies are there all the time. They're the days all, they've moved in. That that's like their home, and they're changing the roller dogs out to feed the flies. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really glad you didn't get one. <sighs> Me too. I'm very proud of you. So if any of you think like that, I've given up and I don't have standards. You're only partially right. You've met the standard. I found it. That's that's the actual line he'll draw. I found the line. <laughs> The worst of the riot. It's like Lucky Charms, but no marshmallows. Radio U. You might already have this where you live, but I don't, I don't, heck, I don't know if we have it where I live or not, but like, dude, this sounds like this sucks. All right. Anderson, South Carolina, Anderson School District 5 is the first school district in all of South Carolina to pass a uh, rule like they got a thing going now. Yeah. Okay, they're not doing snow days anymore. So now if you have a snow day, you have to go to virtual class online. Sure. What? Yeah. <laughs> You don't want that? No. Yeah, but then school doesn't have to last as long for some districts. But I'm sorry, in South Carolina, do they do get they a Do they ever have a snow day? I, no. I, I wondered that the is same thing. probably what the problem is. They don't have the infrastructure. <laughs> don't worry about what just you, what just happened, okay? I just, just dropped his thing. I just dropped my phone on my computer because my phone was buzzing, <laughs> and I didn't want it making noise for you guys to hear. So in fixing not in making the noise, I made a lot more noise, That's okay? Because okay. I feel like this is we got a lot That's of friends. That's my fr- whole life in <laughs> a nutshell right there. we got a lot of friends and business or, you know, associates in Nashville, yeah. and they're just not set up for snow. And every so often they'll get one or two snowstorms here or there, or they'll it's not a storm to the other parts of the country. It's a snow for them. It's a snow for them, and so they just can't deal with it because right. they don't have trucks and salt and all that stuff. So maybe in that area, when they do have a very weird weather day, yeah. they can't take care of it, but yet they still want you to go to school. So, yeah, just do it virtually. Here's what I want to know. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> who, are, who are these unhappy, joyless people that become administrators <laughs> at schools? Who are these people? They have no love of life, freedom. Do you do you understand the joy of a snow day? And you're like, you know what? When I become superintendent, my first my Your first, first act is going to be eliminating all yeah, snow but days. Wasn't it a pain when you'd have to go longer though? Because sometimes take your Chromebook, study it all. Sometimes they'd make us go to class later on other days if we had a if you had a weather day. Yeah, but like, how many times does that happen? You get so many inclement weather days, and people are taking those away. I'll tell you right now. You know what? I'll take an extra day tacked on the end because the teachers don't freaking care. So you show up for school that day, and they're like, "Uh, yeah, these are our extra inclement weather days. We're uh, reading, and then we'll be watching a movie later. Now, we're going to the other room. We'll be back. <laughs> and you see them like four hours later. Whatever. Your teachers are hanging yeah, out in the lounge. Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> Fine. I'll take that. I'll t- <laughs> you know, most school districts have, like, you can virtually take your classes. I you know. don't have to go. Listen, all right? I'm just telling you right now that it takes a wicked evil person to start chipping away at snow days. And it's only, I want to know what happens. <laughs> that person obviously went to school themselves. I want to pull the superintendent in and just put my hand on their shoulder and look him in the eye and just say, who hurt you? Well, now. Who, who hurt you? Let's think about this. The only other superintendent story we've heard recently kind of shows a glimpse into the life of a superintendent. So we're talking about super pooper, super pooper, the pooping superintendent from the one school district. So these are broken people. I don't know. This is actually not too bad compared to what he was doing. I just what happens to us when we go from being children to adults that we're like, my first action is eliminating (laughs) snow days. That feels like the guy that everybody in the neighborhood was out there on their sleds and his mom was like, you're not going out or no one invited him to the winter under the sea dance or like whatever it was. 
What are we doing? See, I think I was too much of a mature little Nikki, and it was annoying because I always knew that just meant more work somewhere else, somewhere down the road. Man. <laughs> I'm just like, why bother? Woo! I wish somebody give me a snow day now. It about kills me that I don't get snow days anymore. You got a snow day now. We got another problem going on. <laughs> That's exactly right, <laughs> man. Daggone it. Come on, guys. So in South Carolina? Everyone right now that's a kid, swear that when you grow up, you're going to do better. Swear to me? Swear to me. (laughs) Put the snow days back. (laughs) I'm snowman. Did you know the riot can help you see into the future? Every time Obadiah says he likes a show, impress all your friends by correctly predicting it will be canceled by the end of the year. Canceled. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's not funny. Works every time. It's the riot on Radio U. Nikki, let's talk about your home base, your great allegiance. Yes, Apple. Yep. Congratulations. Congratulations. On the trillion thing. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Apple has become the first company in history to be valued over one trillion dollars. <laughs> now the race to a trillion dollars was between them and Amazon. And Amazon just lost. Yeah. And I look at this and I, you guys tell me if you think there's a connection. All right. Apple's trying to become a trillion dollar company. They can't do it. All of the sudden, somebody, I'm not going to mention any names, Gets an Apple TV 4K. It's not me. <laughs> you did. Next thing you know. Ah, uh, that's what they needed. Just over a week afterwards, they're valued at a trillion dollars. You brought you brought is it. That, I, is that coincidence? <laughs> I don't think so. Congra- I, congratulations goes to you. They didn't hit the trillion dollar mark until someone got an Apple TV 4K. But you didn't buy it. Technically, that was a, a gift given for joining a, a Here comes service. the counter argument. So I don't know if you're the one or well, how I want that you to really know, counts. Nikki, I bought a couple of movies on iTunes. Oh, now there you go. That's See? actually what really took them over. See? Mm-hmm. And you and I almost fell into a $12 trap just moments ago. (laughs) And yet we remain untethered. Steadfast and faithful with it. That's exactly right. So I, to me, it just doesn't seem like a coincidence. So Apple being valued over a trillion dollars. Yep. That was the first company to ever be that. Shares rose 2.7% yesterday, bringing the company to an all-time stock high of $207.05 per share, Yeah, which pushed the firm past the trillion dollar mark. Now we're uh, we're into August now. And it is, traditionally, yes. we're getting close. To, to some new phones, please. I know someone that's due <laughs> I, for one. I've been patiently waiting. Mm-hmm. I didn't want the last ones. I would like something new. So you'd be valued even more Real, if you just had a new phone. Real talk about your phone. Yeah. Uh, you swapped out the battery earlier this year, and you've been happy with the battery. Yeah. So do you feel like your phone is not performing as well as it used to? Well, and you just, I, I mean, no judgment. And you just want whatever I the new just, one's going to be. I want the rumors to be true because I would like the new phone and they're supposed to make a bigger one. Uh-huh. I would like that one. Okay. And I have the plus already, so we can go bigger. Okay. So is that the one that will have the telescoping arm and the wheels I so hope that you so. can pull it behind yes. you? Yes. Well, it also comes with a second purse, like a bag to yeah. carry and help with some of the strain, but I'm fine with that. Yeah. It's a backpack that you carry because you can't have one <laughs> strap. It's too much weight. Yeah. On you one have side. to. Otherwise you could have some really big, uh, you know, problems with your arms later. Yeah, you gotta but no, I would like, out. I just like a new phone. It's been okay. a while. It has been a while. So we'll, you know what, Nikki? I'll let you contribute some of your money to their value. <laughs> Still need to be saving up, though. I should remember that. That feeling when you hear that every school in the state is closed but yours? Now you know how we feel. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. So I don't know if you guys have been keeping score. Maybe not because maybe you don't care like I do. But my next game purchase is going to be Spider-Man. You are ex- like really looking forward to this one. Is it because it's with your birthday or? Well, it comes out on September 7th. Yeah. Which is the before. Friday after Labor Day. But that's two weeks before my birthday. But I've already, um, okay, I haven't gone yet, but like I've got a game to trade. I'm going to like get it all set up. So I'm like ready to go pick it up, whatever. Um, I'm pumped about it. And yesterday, 
they lifted some kind of embargo. So a lot of media outlets got to play, I think, like the first four or five hours. And they got to talk in detail about those four or five hours. And it was one of those things where I read just enough where I I read like opening and closing paragraphs because you usually don't get any. You don't want spoilers. I don't like I don't want to know what happens. I want to experience that game for myself. I've even stopped. I've looked at some trailers, but like I don't really want to know that much about it. But every single thing I read about that game yesterday, they were gushing about how good it is just gushing and i'm like <gasps> oh! <laughs> adding fuel to that fire i see oh seriously dude <laughs> i mean i i am a i have become a <clears throat> a spider-man fan yeah I, I was not uh but it was the ultimate spider-man comics uh that i read and all of the sudden i became like a, a i love spider-man but it's not before labor day or no it's not oh, man, i know that's Wouldn't a it be shame great? Like, you could have played the whole time i know Aww. why don't just like guys come on put this out on labor day weekend you could have had a great you? time with that yeah but uh but no they're, they're not. Well, but. now you can get everything else done that That's you need right. to there beforehand. So then you you're go. uninterrupted when it actually comes out. So. I am for real looking forward to playing it. But it is one of those things that, you know how it is. You look at something and you're like, yeah, but is it actually going to be any good? Sounds like it's going to be great. And I'm totally, I know everybody's like, don't do that. I'm pre-ordering that thing. <laughs> like I'm getting it all <laughs> lined up and ready to go. Are you going to do an Obadiah place this weekend? Or? Um, I hope to. I would actually like to get one in this afternoon. Now, I've been playing Nino Kuni 2 on PlayStation 4. I have been so enjoying that game. It's a great game to just kind of play and chill and enjoy. And so I have been wanting to do a an Obadiah Plays all week on that, but I just haven't been able to make the schedule work. So at some point this week, I'll just say it now. Here we go. At some point this weekend, I'm streaming that game. Nice. So if you do not yet... Follow us on Facebook. I mean, I'm on Twitch, but a lot of times I'll just stream direct to our Facebook page. So that's Facebook.com slash Radio U. I'll share it on the Radio U Riot page as well. But you want to make sure that you like us, follow us, sign up to get the notifications when we're live, and you can spend some time with me. And Then it'll put something in your notifications saying, mm-hmm. hey, Obadiah's playing, and you'll see him there. Yeah, and you can uh, hang out with me, and we can do some Nino Cooney. I wanted to see what it looks like. It- it is such a cool looking game. It looks like a cartoon. Um, it is cool, dude. So if you are familiar with like Howl's Moving Castle or any of those like Miyazaki movies, it looks like that and it's awesome. The Riot is an award winning morning show. It's literally a medal for sucking. Now that is a medal for trying. Okay. Radio U. So I got a car now and it has a rear backup camera on it, right? That's kind of cool. I still forget to use it, even though it doesn't I, just turn on on. Or no, you no, 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 look it does. At it. I just forget to look at it sure. because I've, you know, it's the first time I've ever had a car that has one of those, and I've just become so accustomed to using my rear view mirror and my side mirror that that's where I typically and do my backing your head up. Around. Right, always turning around <laughs> to check. Uh, and now I've got this camera here, and I, you know, don't have to do that. But and that's an amazing thing. Don't get me wrong; like it is because it gives you one more way to check and make sure there's nothing behind you that you know you're not going to run over. But you think about when you're actually driving; that camera's not on because they want you looking straight ahead, right? Yeah. While you're driving. Now I'm assuming that even if you don't have your driver's license, you spend enough time in a motor vehicle to understand that when you're driving, you should be looking straight ahead. Not at your phone. Sorry. Just got to throw it in there. <laughs> you know, not at the backup camera, not at whatever. You need to be looking straight Eyes ahead. Forward. But you know, the temptation I think all of us face, not in the car, not in the car, but now we're in metaphor territory, okay? In the car that is our life, we should be looking straight ahead, and we are so stuck in that rear backup camera. Like, we are so stuck on what's in the rear view mirror. We're looking behind us, and we're thinking about mistakes that we've made. We're thinking about wrongs that we've done. We're thinking about wrongs that other people have done to us. And that stuff that should be in the rear view mirror is holding us back. And I'll tell you right now, it's someone, you know, when you're in the car and you start staring in the rear view mirror, one of two things happens. You either start to really slow down or you hit something. (laughs) Because you weren't paying attention. (laughs) Because you're not paying attention to what's in front of you. And I want you to know something, that the things that are paralyzing you in your rear view mirror of your life are wasting your time. They're wasting your energy. And God's tired of it. He's tired of it. He's tired of seeing you stuck 
moving through things slower than you should, moving through, like being stuck on things that should be long since behind you, but they're really in the forefront because you're still looking at them. And hey, I'm not, I'm not criticizing, understand that. Okay. And even God is not here to talk down to you and criticize you. He just sees the fact that somebody hurt you, but he's tired of that being the thing that defines your life. He's tired of that slowing you down. Jesus wants you to be forgiven for mistakes in the past so you can move on. Healed from hurts of the past so you can move on. He wants you to get focused on things in front of you and better things that God has for you. I'm not going to tell you that it's always easy. Sometimes you have to stop the car, get out, look at that stuff behind you, deal with it, and then get back in and move on. Okay, sometimes forward looks a little backward, but the way you're going to know what to do and how to get healed and how to move on is in starting a relationship with God. If you don't have one, let's do this. Say, Jesus, I want you in my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. I am so stuck in what's behind me. I need to be healed. I need to be forgiven. I want to move on. I mean, that's a great place to start. But listen to God. Maybe he'll say, hey, you need to talk to somebody or whatever. I don't want you stuck in the past, and neither does God. You got to move forward. The Riot. They hate me. They hate you. They hate us. Why else would they make us listen to the worst of the riot? Radio U. Look at me. Yes. I'm a couponer now. I'm do I'm into extreme couponing. You're, no, you just used a code. No, I know, but that's my thing now. I'm an extreme couponer. I just like my whole life just changed. <laughs> now I'm ready for a uh what is that network? Uh, a TLC show yeah, on you. Come on, go ahead. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. Like, you I'm used ready. a red box code. Yeah, I did. Your first one. Look at me. I, I they've had my email forever. They're always sending me crap. I never use it. I just use the app on my phone, put in a coupon code, and I rented Ready Player One on Blu-ray for 80 cents. Way to go. Extreme couponing. couponing. Is that for one night or do you get it for the weekend? It's just one night. One night. Okay. But I mean, you know, like quite frankly, at 80 cents, if I decided I wanted to keep it for two nights. Does it stay the 80 cents? No, it would go back up to $2, but that would be $2.80. Sure. Still so. still a good price. I thought if you go back to the show like 40 minutes ago, mm-hmm. I thought we were done looking at stuff to watch. I got an email. So you I'm got an email. It. Okay, so it's different. It yeah. just popped up. And what you don't know is that I've like I've been so tempted to buy that. Like I've just wanted to buy it. I've Back wanted to forth. buy it. Yes. And so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to rent it. I'm going to watch half of it because I always get bored with everything halfway through, and then I'll take it back, and it will that I'll, that itch will be scratched. I'll be done. <laughs> For Eighty cents, it'll be done. I'll be done. Okay. That's it. All right. I do. You guys know I have attention span problems. Uh, which is why I still think it's why video games work so well for me because it keeps me interested. Yeah. Whereas with movies, I'm just like, okay. Well, coming soon to TLC. Oh, we're dying. Extreme couponing. Ex- extreme digital codes. You don't even know, dude. You don't even know. It's a new class of savings. I'm gonna. It's going to be me intervening. Like, Nikki's getting ready to buy something. And I'm like, wait. No. Oh, you jump through the door and you <laughs> surprise people with, like, new codes. Like, did you just, did you just buy a movie? <laughs> Hit the return Very button. button I'm going to show you how to read it cheap. We're, we're doing it again. Yeah, it sounds more like I'll end up in Redbox commercials than a TLC thing. Yeah, but. probably. Or what do I? I use um, Honey a lot uh, for codes and stuff. And mm-hmm. you know, like if you buy something, it checks out. And yeah, I can see you being a, a code spokesman for that. Is that a locally sourced honey? Uh, yes, of course. What what are we doing here? I don't know. What that that only helps with my purchasing so that it get, helps with my allergies as well. <laughs> um, honey is a... You use honey. You've used it before, haven't Have you? Have yeah, I? it's an extension. You can use it with Chrome and stuff. Oh, wait. And then it tells you if there are codes yes. available for and that thing. And it'll plug it in or tell you if it's somewhere else cheaper. Automatic coupon codes, promo codes, and deals. Man, you know that's some running. of us have been saving already, but you know it's running some sort of bug. I was going to say that thing <laughs> that is running a Bitcoin miner on yes, your computer it is. for it sure. It is, it is for sure. It but is. But I saved a couple of dollars, so that's fine. Yeah, but I don't see no eighty cent rentals, which is why I'm the one that's getting the show. Yeah, now, Nikki, I'll let you ride my coattails. <laughs> I can have another I'll, show. I'll bring you in with me. It's a package deal. No, but... I'll be the uh, off-camera producer of. Extreme codes. Like, okay. <gasps> Code 911. Oh my gosh. Perfect. I'm in. <laughs> Let's do it. You're listening to the riot. 
voted number one morning show. Among toddlers aged two to five, among people with hearing problems, among dogs who bark at loud noises, among relatives of Obadiah, among people who lie in surveys. The Riot Radio U. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower has been closed for a couple of days? The Eiffel Tower? I did not. Yeah. Employees at the Eiffel Tower are on strike. Oh. Isn't that wild? So you can't go up it? So you have worked uh, your whole life and saved and, and all this Scrimped stuff. for that Paris vacation of your dreams. You're going to be in Paris for two days, but it's <laughs> enough. You just want to hit the Eiffel Tower, maybe the Louvre. Yeah. Sorry. That's what you need to think about. You can't. You know, other people outside of your, your yes, there's probably problems that you're working on as employees, but at least leave the elevator working or something, or maybe we have to take the steps or something along those lines. So where someone who really has had it in their, their dream to go up the Eiffel Tower can still do it. So it works like this. It's been closed since, bring when, in the replacements. since Wednesday afternoon, and it's still closed today. And as of right now, there are no... Like, there's no answer as no to when to it's going to change. It. So uh, the reason that they are, uh, like, striking is that they have recently changed the policy so that if you pre-order tickets to the tower, you get, it's almost like a fast pass. You get this one elevator, and there's an elevator that is solely for those who have pre-ordered. Yeah. And then there's an elevator for people who buy tickets on site. So the people that are buying tickets on site are ending up in very long lines oh. that would not be as bad if they could use both elevators. elevators. Especially if there's no line forming for the pre-order people. Yeah. So they are really unhappy about it. And, of course, people who have come to visit are incredibly unhappy about it. And as a result, they're striking. So now the answer is just like if your mom was in charge, no one gets it. <laughs> Everybody's punished. If we're going to fight over it, then no one gets to have it. I hate that response. Because, <laughs> again, that's not fair because you're right. Someone doesn't know that ahead of time. Uh, maybe they pre order their tickets and, and they're ready. If you're in line, though, there, can you just pre order like on your phone? And it might, you, I don't, I don't know when know, the window you, is. Maybe you have to pre order days in advance. I will tell you, I went, if, if you're going anywhere, you should go to their website and see if you can pre order. And I'll, the reason being, a lot of places have this. I was at the Statue of Liberty, which was given to us by France. Weird. Hmm. Weird. And at the Statue of Liberty, that's the way it works. Yeah. I had, it's not that you need tickets for the statue, but, well, you do, actually. You have to have tickets for the ferry, and then if you want to go to the pedestal, you have to have tickets for that. If you want to climb up in the statue, you have to have tickets for that. It's tickets, tickets, tickets. Uh, but I went ahead and pre-ordered mine, and it was two lines. If you were in the pre-order line, it was way faster. And if you were just in the, hey, we showed up today line. Never do that. Best of luck on that one. So, I, I mean, I'm not, I just want you to know I'm not taking an anti-labor stance. <laughs> Seems like you've taken a side on this. But I will just tell you, as wherever you are on this issue, if you're traveling somewhere, I can't recommend enough going and looking and seeing if, like, hey, can I get a pre this or, sure. a, like, whatever, because a lot of times it ends up making things faster well, then for also you. also, if they're having problems, i.e., like, they're not open, then right. you'll find out that way. Oh, Too that's bad a, for the people. That is for real a bummer, because, again... Your trip to Paris ended. Did you get to go out in the statue? No. The, no. No. <laughs> there was this line problem. Yeah, it didn't work out. Worst of the riot, not enough. Not enough. Check the blog and all things riot at riot.radiou.com. Um, did I mention that I'm ready to eat right now? You are hungry. You're very hungry. Believe it, sister. It's because you worked out. <sighs> You know what? Okay, just complete side note. I have started these new workouts. They are grueling and they're great. Uh, I'm my toes are sore. Like every part of my body is sore. And the day after I work out, yeah, I could eat the whole building. You're just always starving. It's just the and it's the day the day of. I have to be careful, but I literally have to be careful because I'm just like, and I'll have this, <laughs> and I'll have that, and I'll eat everything. Must be your body. That's its recovery for the day after. It's depressed. It's like, why'd you do this to me? Our comfort, toes even hurt. You said so. Comfort me with food. <laughs> Give me cookies. Tell Don't me I'm pretty. Don't think about it. Just eat it. Hey, Guy Fieri's got me thinking about food again. Uh, he's Would you be... say that the riot's favorite food is chicken? Yes. Okay, I'll agree with you on that one. And fried birthday chicken. cake. Fried chicken and a sheet cake. Mm, oh, my gosh. Buttercream icing. Come on. 
come on, sign me up for this, right? <laughs> so Guy Fieri says he's launching a new chain of restaurants called Chicken Guy. He's the, the Food Network guy, the one... I don't know if it's going to be good, but I'll tell you this, like, concept photo that they've pushed out that is French fries and chicken fingers and a soda with two dipping sauces. That's that's perfect. It seems like they're really trying to push in this article that it's like a Raising Cane's or a, you're waving a... I'm waving a hanky right now. Waving a tissue around. I'm just waving a hanky or, like, uh, hallelujah. Or, <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. It'll be like Zaxby's. Um, so they're going to be opening the flagship of this chicken guy um, franchise, and mm-hmm. that'll be on Disney World, Disney Springs, and that'll be this summer, and then they... We'll set up others later. Oh, I'm not going there anytime soon, but I would so eat there. The one thing, did you mention about all the sauces? No, not yet. 22 sauces. 20 22 sauces. Two sauces. They have a Nashville hot honey sauce. I could just roll on delicious. into that, doesn't it? That sounds delicious. A little delicious. bit of spice, a little bit of heat to it, a sweetness. That's good. Nashville hot honey? Then they're also, they'll have teriyaki. Now, listen. You're like, well, that's not very impressive. Hey, a good teriyaki. Is something, if you could get it right. Cumin lime mojo. Nah. Uh, and uh, Guido's signature donkey sauce. Don't even know about that. I have that. no idea what that is. Don't it have that. sounds terrible. So there'll be mac and cheese, fried pickles, other normal stuff. But they're really, it's not sweating on uh, canes, Raising canes. But they're just trying to jump on that. It's a little similar. <laughs> uh, Raising canes is... They make a mean chicken finger. I think this will have only chicken. So, like, you can't get a hamburger there. But it'll have more stuff than Raising Cane's. Hey, listen, I'm fine with not being able to get a hamburger there. It's fine. I'm not there for a hamburger. We're not going to lunch today, like, together. But I want to go ahead and put the word in that next Wednesday. We should go to we Cane's. We need to go somewhere for chicken. We get chicken. Just anywhere. We can't go to the wing buffet, though. No, I understand that. That'd be re- irresponsible sick. of us. Well, you know, we could do, though. We could go we either go to Cane's or uh, what's the other chicken place we went? And they have Roosters? Great- yeah. We could go there. Do you know at Roosters you can mix the sauces? <laughs> I had teriyaki barbecue, and it was amazing. It was so good. So, y'all, you, you wanted the riot to come out? That's all you got to do. Just throw some sauce in a bucket, and we'll just come. <laughs> I'm so hungry, dude. I am so well, hungry. let's not talk about food anymore, then. I know, I know. You hate the riot. Why are they on the radio? Stupid. Yeah. Honestly, we can't trust them with anything else. It's the riot on Radio U. So, it's been... <laughs> Something. I thought we weren't going to talk about any more food or because this is the opposite side of it. I feel like <laughs> we, I feel have like we have to. I do because I've got one of my roommates is always like, hey, guys, let's just go to Chipotle. And I am more and more becoming concerned about those suggestions because not far from us, uh, there was a Chipotle. This is one in Powell, Ohio. Uh, where they had an outbreak of something? Well, oh, no. It was an outbreak at its earlier numbers. Now it's just something completely different. Well, here, <laughs> okay, I've been looking at it a little bit, and here's the thing. Is like, that what's the real story? The, well, the numbers are iffy, because as of right now, they've got more than 200 people with confirmed symptoms. Yes. But they've had over 600 people that have contacted the Board of Health who ate there and are like, hey, just to let you know. Problem. Yeah. So it's like. It's still being figured out. Yeah. We don't have an exact number here, but what they're trying to do right now is figure out what made people sick. From the Chipotle. Mm-hmm. And here's the part that is like, grab the bucket and get ready because they're. I'm not ready for it. I'm not. I'm All, right. All right. Hang on. I got a snack coming soon. So let's not make this too gross. All right. They needed two kinds of samples. <laughs> they needed samples, samples of the food. <laughs> I and then do that. samples of the later food. <laughs> Could you so, ju- so the board of the health people had to do that. The board of health was like, "Hey, would you mind coming in?" And uh, oh, that's too much to ask. You get paid. <laughs> oh I think it's a donation. Oh boy, I think it's a donation. They really did that. Yes, and somebody has to collect that. Yeah, somebody's testing it. They're like, "We got to figure out what." <laughs> I don't understand medical stuff. I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> just don't. I just want you to know that just to have to get to tell Nikki about that, that's part of why this story is back. I just wanted <laughs> to see Nikki's reaction. <laughs> and I was so I mean, not like, disappointed. You're going to have to trust me that I'm sick. I'm not giving you that. 
One of Nikki's eyes went a strange other direction. Just it fluttered. As she was, just it as fluttered. She was thinking about what might have to take place. That's embarrassing. Not only have you been sick because you ate there, now you got to go through this humiliation with doing that because <laughs> that's too much for me to do. I don't disagree. I could be dying and I'm not doing that. I don't disagree. <laughs> Just can't. So oh. they're still trying to, though, figure out how many people and what they've been affected by. Yes. Mm-hmm. They don't know what it Can is. Can they just like look up their orders and just kind of cross do something, examine? So I was looking at a local news station or like news thing, and they were just like, this one guy's all mad. He's like, why is this restaurant still open? He's like, you've got over 200 confirmed cases of foodborne illness. This restaurant is open. Uh, but I'll have to tell you, this photo shows an empty parking lot. If that's <laughs> For that Chipotle location? I, I don't know what it's worth for you, but that particular one, it looks like it business has slowed when down. When this first came out and we started talking about it, it really was a case of like, what are they doing wrong to where Chipotle always seems to have this come back? It, and they've been known sometimes with past employees who were saying some pretty negative things involving cleaning and some of the food preparation and the storage and stuff. But it, there has to be something. They just are not doing it right. Something's something's not working out. You know what the real shame is? I think their food's pretty good. I mean, you know, I don't know about the quality, but I know it tastes good. Well, they always were all snooty about their quality, and especially in the beginning. Yeah. They're like, oh, if you're better than everybody you're eating here. This is where real that's people kinda, eat yeah, real food. Like, that's what they they did a lot of They in were the beginning. selling that to you. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. But the rest of us are just going to Taco Bell or Del Taco, and we're fine. <laughs> Well, you maybe not, but, you well, know, I, I don't understand. I know a guy that has a Taco Bell issue. <laughs> it's, we don't have to talk so about it. So now, for real, no more food talk. The worst of the riot is over, but the fun can keep going. Hey, I saw you checking out my goods. Check the riot blog or stalk us on social media. Yeah. You want to sample them? A little tribe before you buy huh? Through riot.radiou.com. Give me cookies. Tell don't me I'm pretty. Don't think about it.